Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're talking about the overview effect. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the overview effect. In fact, instead of telling, maybe I can show you. You and I both live here. We're on a small planet in a small solar system, getting all our light, heat, and energy from one small star. Our sun is one out of over 100 billion in our galaxy alone, and our galaxy is one of over 2 trillion. Between them are immense distances beyond our capability to comprehend, and against the cold, harsh, ever-expanding backdrop of space. Our planet is the only place that can support our kind of life that we know of. All of these galaxies and stars are so far apart, we cannot travel to them within our short lifetimes, which on the grand scale of time that the universe has existed are almost immeasurable. Everyone you have known and everyone who knows you will have come and gone from this world faster than the universe could blink. Relative to the universe, our existence is insignificant. All we have is this planet, and all we have is each other. It's a brief whisper of time together. It is unnerving to be faced with this reality, yet it tends to make all of our problems small. It hardly seems worth it to waste time fighting, arguing, squabbling over money or who gets to exist where. If our brains could really comprehend how finite our existence is, we wouldn't want to waste one millisecond of it on hate or violence. If I have only one minute to live, I want to spend that minute with the people I care about most, doing the things that enrich our lives. The same goes if it's five minutes. How many minutes do you need before you decide you've got time for hate? A little perspective on how big the universe is can be a powerful thing. This epiphany that people get when face-to-face -face with their cosmic insignificance is called the overview effect. A term first coined by philosopher Frank White, the overview effect refers to the moment of insight that an astronaut has when they see the Earth from space for the very first time. Frank White did interviews with astronauts to explore the effect, but it's been studied extensively by psychologists ever since. People who experience the overview effect report a change in how they think, feel, and act while viewing the Earth from space. Researchers call it a cognitive shift, viewing the Earth from space and being almost transfixed by the massiveness of the universe and everything going on down on the Earth is almost too much for our brains to process, and it comes out through overwhelming feelings. Astronauts going through symptoms of the overview effect report a tremendous feeling of awe and connectedness, and have felt short of breath, have increased heart rates, feel dizzy, and sometimes even report uncontrollable crying. So why do psychologists care so much about studying the overview effect? I mean, the emotional and behavioral changes that these astronauts undergo are impressive, but since people who get to experience being in space is such a small percentage of the population, it all seems rather academic until you stop to consider how the overview effect could be applied. In reality, the overview effect might just be the key to saving the planet. Along with that overwhelming awe experienced in the overview effect, people also report feeling a protectiveness towards the Earth. Their responsiveness towards pro-environmental behaviors increases. Astronauts living on the International Space Station come home lamenting that they can actually see the impact climate change is making on the Earth. It's almost the opposite of the bystander effect. Astronauts feel a heightened sense of responsibility because they see the differences firsthand. But 
we can't exactly get everyone up into space to feel that sense of responsibility the overview effect causes. So researchers have started thinking outside the space shuttle. Some researchers are using virtual reality to induce the same types of emotions by fully immersing participants in astronaut-like situations where they get to experience those same overview effect emotions. A study I'll link to below looks at how interconnected participants feel after experiencing those same emotions, and there seems to be some sort of connection between getting a real view of the Earth and how willing we are to help others and the planet. Another study looked at how we could teach kids the same sort of responsibility towards the environment. After all, they'll be taking care of this planet someday. The researchers put school children into a VR space flight simulator and measured whether they experienced the overview effect. Like adults, kids in the study experienced transcendent feelings of awe and a strong emotional desire to protect our planet, even at that really young age. If you want to know more about cognitive shifts, saving the planet, or anything relating to psychology. Make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking and I'll see y'all later. Bye! With all of these billionaires trying to get into space, maybe the overview effect will convince them to actually do some good for our planet. Uh, <laughs> Come here. I want one. I want to hear this. Here. You want a little of this? Okay. I guess not.